Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, interrupting my posting of synchronization points to return to Asgard and finish up the final mission, The Big Finish. My advice is, yes, you get to level 90 or higher because the builder is very difficult to defeat. You can do it at a lower level, but I don't advise it. So I'm going to get on with the big finish and defeat the builder. Hopefully you can learn something from observing and it will help you out in your endeavors. Before you face the builder, you have to get his clay pots of paint, his magic paint, and this is what is going on right now. I'm meeting Loki, and then I'm going to go and get the paint. There were two guardians here that I defeated, and now I'm entering this door that I had managed to open that was sealed with a rune, and there's going to be people here that are in danger. They're disguised as animals. You want to start shooting them right away. With the bad guys defeated, there is a chest which unlocks the last of the Ymir's Tears that you need. Now I'm grabbing this, and you can kind of see the chest off to the right. you got to bring this paint back to the Builder. Our hobby returns. Stay right there, Builder. We're not finished with you. You survived my trap. How disappointing. Invaders from Jotunheim. We slaughtered them all. Buri's Ballsack. Can I kill him now? We do not need this honor cheat. We will complete the tower ourselves. My Hoover makes it work. I am bound to it through the magic of your realm. You perverted our sacred waters. We have every reason to kill you. Well reasoned. They should call you the god of hindsight, all-knowing after the fact. I will finish the inscription. Builder, you stay with me. You others go. Elhas, for protection. Before you face the Builder, make sure you have maximum ammo, maximum health, and maximum rations. You godless worm, slayer of my kin, oath breaker, spirit taker, I didn't build this tower to keep your enemies out. I built it to keep you in. Even with above 90 level, maximum health, and maximum rations, this took a little doing. You'll figure it out. One of the things is you don't want to get hit when he swings that hammer. That energy he sends, you want to try and avoid it. And also, what you want to do is you need to do some damage to him before he starts launching you into the air where you have a better shot at shooting him. One of the things I noticed was when he does this energy thing, he is actually wide open for a potential shot.
missed. But you do not control them! Control them? I only wish to survive them. Your time has passed. There's no turning back the seasons. If our doom is assured, I will ensure that you share it. Yotan dead? And his magic dies with him. Does that worry you, trickster? What are you implying? Were you behind this? You dishonorable truth tangler. What do you know of honor, Freya? You've bedded more men than all the halls in Midgard. You're a fine one to talk of sexual appetites. You fathered a wolf cop. 
I'll not hear a lecture from the Lord of Petty Rules who stiffens at the thought of laying down the law. And before you threaten to brandish your hammer, Thor, remember, without it, you'd be no better than a troll. Only twice as stupid. Oh! You festering ball sack swollen with the foulest drippings of Emir's corpse. No oath is worth this abuse. But you won't break it, Harvey. You cannot. All your efforts to evade destiny will only fling you further along its course. If you're not careful, you may be the author of your own destruction. <clears throat> Leave him. He will do little harm while his son remains captive. A mouthful of iron would put a stop to his babbling. What now, wise one? We have returned to the place from which we set out. Ragnarok is coming, and we are no safer. There may be a solution in Jotunheim. Huga magic, they call it. I will travel there to see it for myself. Until I have the final binding, Loki's son must not leave that island. In time, it shall serve as a sanctuary for all wolves. I will watch over him, as one of my own kin. Then I'll leave the realm in your capable hands, my queen. If my own are empty when I return, I will accept destiny with both. The Builder is defeated. Now you have to go to Jotunheim and potentially something else. But... I'll forewarn you, you don't wake up, or you don't go to Jotunheim, sorry about that, you wake up, and that is it. Now, I'm going to fast travel, and I'm going to offer Yimmer's Tears to the altar. You have to have all 30, and it's worth getting because you get five skill points, which really helps in building the character. Again, I'm just going to fast travel and offer Yimmer's Tears because, yeah, swimming is going to suck. And I realized, well, wait, why swim or use a boat when I can fast travel? Yeah, I'm just messing around here now. So get back to world and fast travel and do that beautiful dive off the tower, which, again, spectacular. As you can see, I have all the wealth of Asgard. I haven't solved all the mysteries, but I don't care. Just diving off the tower here is insane. And now I'm at Asgard, and I can offer up all the wealth, which is Ymir's Tears. Five skill points, yeah, awesome. And then you have to go to Jotunheim Gate, which, like I said, you wind up waking up from the dream. And, well, yeah, it was worth doing the Asgard job, or Asgard missions, and it was fun. Kind of escapism. If you found this video informative, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week as well as a short on Wednesday and you don't want to miss out. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And thanks for stopping by.